Hey everybody and welcome, Steve from OpenBOM and welcome to today's video on OpenBOM catalogs and bombs. In this video we're going to talk a little bit about the two foundational elements of OpenBOM. As I mentioned, they are catalogs and bombs. A catalog is a list of items that are used to create your product. As you can see here, catalogs are generally uh, created or kind of broken down along categories. You see, I might have labor specifications, electrical, you know, machine parts, something that fits into the organization at, at my company. Um, open bomb catalogs can con contain information about a particular category of, of items. And here you might find vendor or, or description, you know, cost. Um, all the information that you want to track about a particular item is located in the catalog. We call these column headers properties. You can have as many properties uh, as you wish in OpenBOM. It is a completely open data model. So if you think about an item, here let's kind of maybe just focus on the screw. I'm in my hardware and fastener catalog. Think about this item. What's some of the information that we might want to, that we might want to keep track of? Well, certainly those things that we just mentioned. I may also, I may also want to keep track of uh, PDFs or step files or other things that my CAD system automatically generates through the OpenBOM CAD integration. Those file types can, can come uh, automatic. I may also wish to keep track of, for example, my inventory cost. Uh, inventory is where, the catalog is where your inventory is managed. So my inventory cost, for example, I'm using a formula right here to calculate my total inventory cost for these screws is the cost times the quantity on hand. And I may want to use another formula to find out what my total inventory is for fasteners and hardware. Here I have $1,700 um, of hardware on the shelf. Lastly, I may also be interested in the, my suppliers or my vendors for this particular item. The catalog is also where you keep track of that here, easily switching between multiple, multiple vendors or suppliers. That's done within, done within the catalog. And then the last thing is that the, the catalog is used Possibly you may use the catalog to automatically dispense part numbers. So here I've set up my hardware part number scheme so that every time I fetch a new part number from CAD or add a new item here, I'll follow that part numbering, uh, I'll follow that, that part numbering scheme. Um, I'd like to standardize on part numbering. It helps me communicate better throughout my organization. Actually, any of the properties that I keep track of about my items um, maintain consistency and communication with the rest of my team. Is description spelled the same as material, always material, um, and so on. So this is where you'll standardize on that and that'll flow you know, out, out to your company. So as we, as we just noted before, the, uh, I can have many different catalogs. The catalogs are the, you know, the heartbeat of open bomb. It's where we define the items. Okay, on the other hand, the bill of material is the logical collection of those items into your product. This is where we either from CAD or by some other method, we collect how many and of what part number belong in a particular bill of material. These can be single level or multi-level. They can have all the information that, that we just saw coming from the catalogs about individual items. Um, <clears throat> we also we keep track of the quantity, how many of a particular item and its part number are in, are in a particular bill of material. So you think about the bomb as the kind of the recipe for your product. Um, in its simplest form, it's part number and quantity. So a more interesting kind of look at, at the bomb can be thought of as uh, when, we, when we flatten it. So for example, here I'm looking at a structured, structured view. If I was to take a look at this and flattened, we, we uh, abstract out all of that structure. I give you exactly the quantity. You know, there's 20 washers in one of these 699 bombs. So that's really interesting to know as I start, start to think about how many do I need to order Maybe I'm in a new product, or maybe I'm going into production. How many do I need to order, regardless of where they appear, where they appear in the structure? So, you know, kind of, you know, kind of with that, remember that the item definition for all this information is flowing from the catalog into my into my bill of material. And OpenBOM uses a reference model there. If a single property about a single item changes, it will change in all the bombs that are that are consuming it. So, and then lastly, you know, once you have a bomb built in OpenBOM. You can edit it, and share it, update it, create revisions of it so that you can track, you know, what the what the history and the revisions are, and um, and, and manage what catalogs, 
are being referenced in this particular bill of material. So you do that right here. So in some other videos, we're going to take a deeper dive into advanced topics like production planning and revision change management, things like that. Um, I hope you found this useful. Love to hear from you at support at openbomb.com. Thanks.